Yo, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Sober Logic Podcast. <laughs> this is a podcast where we, your hosts, talk about topics logically, but also in a comedic fashion. I am your host, YCV. I'm your host, Keith. How's it going, everybody? Keith, I got a surprise for you, man. I got a, I got a, I, it's, it's, it's very small. What's up? But first thing that I did, first of all, I moved this closer. I didn't notice that. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I was like, wow, you didn't have to struggle to reach. I'm, 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 I'm proud of this. First of all, I, improvements. I, I, I moved this closer and I added some sounds specifically for you. Oh, did you? Yeah. So I added, so this we'll, is probably. We'll showcase it. Yeah, most definitely. So, you know, first of all, this is one of my, um, this is one of my favorite sounds in, in video game history right here. It's just something slight. That's that. That's the arcade token right there. You okay. put the arcade token and you ready the game. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Street Fighter. Um, Our big nerd status. You know, you know, we got the claps. More claps. Yeah. More claps. I like that. I like that. You know, we got the claps. You know. Yeah. You lose. Mm-hmm. Perfect. We can talk about we that with Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is probably going to be your favorite. You smell like a demon. <laughs> I love that one. I love that one. Yo, shout out me, Ken, on that one. Like, yo, that is clean. <laughs> and then we just got the, you know, regular old Navi from Link. Uh, listen. Hey, listen. You know, whenever, you know, somebody need, you know, we about to spit some facts and niggas need to listen. You, you know? know, I fuck with that. I never really um, f- finished any uh, Zelda, Zelda game Zelda. Yeah, or whatsoever yeah. or even got close. To, I just get lost in the mountain or some shit. But. Hey, some of, some of those games are ridiculous. If you're not a veteran, it's real easy to get yeah, lost. Ocarina of Time and shit like that. But boy. anyway, I'm going to add more sounds too. Uh, just, but I just thought those would, would, would be dope, you know, to start off with, you know. Oh no, that's yeah. that's a, that's a <laughs> hey, that's a good starting point. Yeah. I like that. I fuck with it heavy. Right. All right. Hey, dude. shout out, shout out, man. <laughs> How your weekend been so far, sir? How was your week? Man, week has been stressful as a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to you, but you know, like I said, uh, just keeping a open mind, open heart. Uh, a lot of things have been going on. Um, not exactly pertaining to me, but just all around us in mm-hmm. general. Like, of course, you know. I don't know if it was, I don't believe it, I don't think it was this week, but of course, you know, I want to start off, I hate to start off on a somber note, but you know, Regina King's son. Yeah, uh, I saw you, that. You know. I forgot she even had a son. I was like, damn, I, for, I forgot about him. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it's, uh, you know, he, uh, he's no longer with us anymore, yeah. and, you know, unfortunately, that, like, un- it doesn't matter if that was her only child. Like, she could have had five, but still, uh, the loss of one the is like the loss of, of a most village of kids. Him. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, all prayers go out to her and her family. Um, from what I think Fifth Grade Fox had um, met with her, and then, like, I guess probably uh, Gina King let, asked her to, like, do, like, a little PSA for him, letting, letting the fans or the public know that, hey, they're all right. Which, you know, it kind of. I feel like that is like uh, kind of sucks to be famous, you know. Yeah. To to feel that you have to address the public on that issue because like when you don't reach that famous somebody in your family dies, you don't have to tell like your job. Well, I mean, like you might have to while you're gone, but you know what I'm saying. You don't have to tell a mean. mass amount of people you don't that you don't know right. or are going to see, and you don't feel obligated to. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, I can only imagine like the the uh, portion of you know disruption that could have had in her thinking process or like you know annoyance yeah. but you know she did what and it sounds like she is doing you know as best as she can be you know you're never really going to be 100 percent off to that nah. so all nothing but love and healing to her and her family and agreed, you know uh, peace and blessings peace yeah. and blessings but uh had to get that out mm-hmm. how about you how was your week oh stress was a motherfucker also damn yeah you know it, it'd be like that but it was only because, you know, um That's not P at all. Yeah, it's not. But, you know, my uh my coworker had a family emergency, um, so she was out this week, so mm-hmm. I pretty much had to cover her work and you know, it, it's it's been piling on, but I made sure I, I got it like a good bulk of it or damn near all of it done Thursday and then I finished up the last bit Friday and I so I don't have to do anything on the weekend, so I'm chilling. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. So I mean that's hard that like you literally just started this and you're already like gonna have to like of course it's unav it's uh, unavoidable, but yeah. you're already put in a position to do someone else's work and you're actually doing it well. Yeah. I appreciate that. I mean think about it that way. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes you need these people to, like, big you up when you don't even notice it. Because you probably just think you're doing this just because you have to do it. Right? I mean, like, yo. Yeah. When you're working, you're like, hey, nigga, I got to get this check. Exactly. <laughs> so, I'm kind of like that, too. Like, I never really, uh, um, like, I posted on my social, on my on my story with yeah. the whole Kevin Gates thing. I never, like, really um, understand my, my uh, 
the value of what I do on mm-hmm. a daily basis. I just think I just have to do it. I right. don't recognize that until somebody else tells me. So I'm just making sure I tell you. Bro, okay. I, yeah, I, I really do uh, appreciate that. But you know You're what? Still a bitch. Also, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you know. We, we, we can, we can <laughs> I ag- mean, yeah, we, you we, know. We, we can ag- agree to disagree. But I also feel like being black doesn't help that shit either. Oh, 100%. It, 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 it does not. Because like, hey. I, I feel like I got to do everything. Because there's just more eyes on us to exactly. succeed. That's in general. In like, There's you know, already so many preconceived notions about black people. And I just, especially black men. And I don't, I don't want to fit the bill. Like, don't. Uh, uh-uh. But you fit in the bill by rising to the occasion. That's, that's the double edged sword. I like, I, I like your way of thinking. I like it. <laughs> Anyway, this is how it is, man. What we but, gonna get into? Oh, we gonna, oh wait, uh, what you got? I was gonna lead into it, man. I was gonna say more into my week, man. Um, yo, never for for those like women have a hairdresser or they go to a barber or just anybody that does their hair. You know that bond that you have with that person is almost un- unbreakable. You know, it's, my barber has been cutting my hair since I was three. You you don't leave what's working. No. It's, it's, it's like a, a 1998 Honda that 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 hoe's still running. <laughs> you, you was like, hey, I'm, uh, I ain't getting another car until this one craps out. So, yeah. uh, don't take your you know your hairstylist or your barber for for granted. Don't do that just because you're accustomed to like. A certain level of professionalism, a certain level of cut or styling. You think that's normal commonplace? It's not commonplace. Hey, bro, this man has been traumatized. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> this man has been traumatized. I mean, like, yeah, no, it's it's, it's something. It's something. It, it did something to my psyche that I just didn't like. I didn't want that to me. So what happened was, um, you went to the nigga with the open chair. No one was going to him. No, nah, no, nah, I, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Um, subject, Come on, young blood. I didn't subject myself to anything like that. that went, that's one thing I'm not doing. I'm gonna cut the shit myself instead of going. You to went. You went to Kenan Thompson all from from barbershop. Remember? You oh no, all no, when he passed that. No, I ain't. ain't no patches boy can't get no patches but um so my barber i consider him the best barber in my area um and he's nigga is nice and he nice. cares about his craft you know that's like you know when somebody cares about their craft when they every time you see them there's something new and they tell you why they got it like there's a reason it isn't yeah. for just bells and whistles it's yeah. like yeah no this is the optimized time on this oh no i bought this new uh you know um shelf to it has more pockets or has more drawers for me to store all my stuff in. My and barber like, is the same way, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. you're like, yo, shit, it doesn't matter. Oh, wow, that's a Ferrari engine in there? Like, a subset up there in there? I'm <laughs> yeah. like, yo, like, what? You not, you don't care about that. You just care about, like, the uh, the work that it can provide. My barber is like that. So he's so like that that he's booked a lot. And with my schedule now, I can't really go to the regular appointments that I'm accustomed to. So I have to really play everything by ear. It's like literally he has a client that books the same time every Friday. Every Friday. I don't know why you get a cut every Friday. He's probably bald and want a beard lined up. But, hey, every Friday. Every Friday. Every Friday, same time. So it's selfish. It's like, you know. That's that's money, too. That should add up, bro. It is. But. That's how good you are. Yeah, he is. So, you know, it's like going to a mechanic when they get all the belt, all the stuff, you know, clean yeah, um, yeah, the yeah. environment. You can trust leaving your car with them. So, at the time, he couldn't get me into the schedule. There wasn't a time that worked best for me. So, you know, I try to get him on the weekend because he doesn't work weekends, but he does house visit. Not available. He He's already booked with house visits. Mm-hmm. And, of course, he has a family, so he's yeah. busy doing family stuff, which I understand. I'm like, okay, I'm not sweating it. But I need to get a cut. Yeah. <laughs> Starting to look like the, an actual wolf on Wall Street. Like, for real. Facts. So, I'm like, man, I can't just, I'm about to start going back into the office, man. I can't, I can't go out here looking wooly like this. Whole mammoth. So, I'm like, all right, let me, let me see what's up. And, like, I, I messaged, I messaged him asking for his, um, his barber information. And booked. then he was like, I was like, hey, man, what's your um, barber's website? I want to um, book him. He was like. Nigga call him And I'm yeah. like And I'm like what I'm like yo cause Not saying anything About your barber Cause of course Your barber does His job But then Like before My experience I'm like so used to A barber You know That I've been Consecutively going to Yeah To have a website For me to be able To book it on there So it was like That professionalism That I Now that I'm Gotten to it I'm mm-hmm. accustomed to it, and I thought that was commonplace. And I just realized, oh, it's not always commonplace. But that does not downgrade your barber. That's just something they does. Most not definitely, do. it just it's just whatever works for that person. Exactly, and, and, and that that works for him because he this man 
is always when I told you he was booked, I was not. This nigga is always booked. Like mm-hmm. he, I have to hit him up a week, like maybe sometimes two in advance. But anyway, yeah, know? yeah, you got to do that. So yeah. I was like, man, I didn't want to like. I don't think you sent me the number. I can't remember. But I was like, oh well, all right. Well, let me let me check. So I go on social media, and just coincidentally, uh, I I'll go on my friend's story, and I see you know he posted his uh, cut. Like from in Titus Barber and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, you know, cuts pretty decent. He has a fade. He doesn't have the amount of hair that I have, but I was like, it was still, you know, a decent yeah. line and everything. Oh, all right, cool. Let me go on. Let me go on his page. Oh wow, there's a website link. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, did it. And even though it wasn't much, it was kind of interesting. On his website, it's not his. It's like one of those uh, who's a local barber around you area type of. Uh, he just has his link that gotcha, goes to him gotcha, right gotcha, there gotcha. on his website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. To book it, you had to put a dollar down to book it. Mm-hmm. It's a dollar, but I just thought that was weird. Okay. I was like, okay. So, you know, I'm getting a $30 cut. It's now $31. So I'm like, all right, whatever, you know. I was going to tip anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So I go there, and my appointment is like, I think it was at 11 o'clock. And I got there at like uh, 10 50. Give him enough time to finish out his current guy and stuff like that. I'm sitting down. I'm just buying my time, just chilling. You know, one thing I hate, I'm very punctual. I, I try to be as punctual as I can be. Yeah. And if I'm not punctual, there is a valid reason for why I'm not. I hate when there's not a valid reason for not being punctual. So it's 1058 right now. And I'm like, okay, he's about to, he's about to finish up. Let me take my, my coat off. I'm sitting down. It's like. I shouldn't. It was kind of weird little setup too. You mm. know, remember auditorium chairs back in elementary? Yeah, that was the chairs. Was, I'm talking about bolted to the ground. That bitch ain't going nowhere. So this was the school at some point. <laughs> so ah, okay, so it had to have been. So I'm just like, all right, chairs mad, uncomfortable. They had the little fold in seat action. You know, remember mm. those? Yeah, yeah, not the most comfortable even as a child. Right. So I'm like, all right, I'm kind of not liking this seat anyway. But you know, he's he's about to finish up a cut, and then he's like. Uh, as soon as I thought he was done, he just he put his stuff up and then went and grabbed a straight razor <laughs> and then he started doing a straight razor now and I'm like, now it's eleven oh three, and then I'm like, okay, he cares about you know the line yeah, and everything. So, I mean, so that's, like, that's, right, yeah, that's, that's that's pretty cool. He's doing that hit back everything. Now it's eleven ten. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking he's done. No, no, no. Now he has to get underneath the guy. He he puts that stuff away, and then he gets the, another set of clippers and get more underneath the beard and shit. I'm like, I'm, I'm starting to sink in my seat more, and like you can literally see, I'm annoyed. <laughs> you can literally see like the joy of life just leave me mm-hmm. with ferocity. Mm. Is this is it was a oozing out of, that I was just like I was just unhappy. I I had the face of this nigga's not getting a tip. That's what I had. It's eleven twenty <laughs> now, and then he's gonna be like, "I'm gonna have like a little." He's like, you know, after took the cape off. All right, you come on in, brother. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, I was, I was like, the, with one of the, the most aggressive get ups. Yeah, I was like, all right, man. So I sit down, and then he's like, "Hey, sorry, brother. It was a little sorry. It took a little longer. You know, it's just that due to the snowstorm, a lot of our clients are just coming in right now." And my and I was like, I, what did I say? I said, oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not gonna say nah, it's all good because it's not all good. Yeah, I said no, I appreciate you like for telling me that because yeah. you could have just had like you didn't just like waste a thirty like, right, minutes right, right, of my time. That right. shit was at eleven o'clock. Now it's eleven um thirty now that I'm in the chair. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. He's like, hey, what do you want? I'm like, yeah, you know, just want to da da da, ba ba, whoop the bang. That's it. And then he's like, okay, whoop the bang, fire. Yeah, whoop the bang, go crazy. <laughs> So then he's he, he's uh he has his brush. He has his comb. You know, normally sometimes they comb down the hair or brush it down to like make sure everything is flat. The brush was cool a little bit, but that comb though. Mm-hmm. That comb, this nigga like really put every inch of <laughs> bicep into each comb and stroke. And I was like, "Oh, like you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, what is going? What did I? What, what did I do? Like, I, I came here on time. Like, what the fuck is up with man's? He's co- 
comb in my shit. One, like one of the combs missing the teeth, was bro. Missing the tooth. It probably was, or it probably was intertwined with each probably. other. Probably. And and I'm like, yo, this man is combing into my 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 fucking my cells. That's how deep he's he's, he's combing hey, and man, shit. Look at the bright side. If you had an itch, it's gone. Nigga, if I <laughs> had my face was gone, I wouldn't have had no itch ever. And it was like, and it was like that feeling that it was like it almost felt like I was bleeding. And like, damn. Yeah, because you know when you like really scratch an area or whatever or bruise or something yeah. like that, you feel like that that heat yeah. or whatever that area. That's what that area I was feeling. I was like, oh, this nigga trying to kill me. So, <laughs> so then he's lining me up, and then I was like, oh, please don't do that. Then he's like raking the front of my face, like because first he do the sides and sides, and then the back, and then he does the. The, the the comb down the baby hairs to trim out and I'm like yo I'm I'm about to punch this dude <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm about to lose my composure I'm about to really go to jail for punching somebody for giving me a haircut that I really didn't want to give me a haircut in the first place how am I going to explain this in the cell right so he does that the cut does look good but when it came to tip normally I tip my barber five to ten dollars mm-hmm. I tipped him three dollars. Because now with that one dollar that I put in, that's four dollars right there. So that's thirty four dollar cut. This is more than what you should have got. At least you still gave a tip. That was nice because you, you, you didn't even have to do that. Oh, and it was anonymous too. Because like you, you do the tip on yeah. the website. Right, right, right. So you know, I was just like, yo. Mm-mm. So now, when I go to my barber, I got a tip fifteen. Shout out your barber, man. <laughs> yeah, Razor Ray. Hey, I got a, a refuge for men in <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I I have to just just show love. Like I just got to understand that I'm blessed to be in nah, that chair. For real. for real though, yeah, I I completely get it. All right, um, I I hate to do this, but you know what I was thinking the mm-hmm. whole time while you were telling that story. What you look like you would write a mean spoken word right now. Like you look like a spoken word person you, like you just look like you just write a whole bunch of poetry is it that it's 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 it's, it's the beanie yeah i'm tired of being looked over red rover red rover no bobber gonna <laughs> screw me over <laughs> <laughs> this whole time i'm like this nigga about to write a mean ass poem about to put it <laughs> my angelou to shame to shame with me <laughs> I'm about, to, I'm about to get my bag for real. Hey, you about to let me know a talent that I didn't know I had. Hey, catch me on Friday nights at a sushi bar near you. <laughs> Woo, boy. Uh, yeah, no, nah, that was disheartening for real. I was like, yo, never again. I'm going to just wait next time. Or I'm going to just buy a mirror and do some YouTube tutorials. Because that shit was just. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like I was going to bleed. Yeah. Man, we, we all have some bad barber stories, man. I'll never forget this. So as a child, I had the longest sideburns my like my sideburns were they were probably like down to here right really long were they like the wide ones no they were they were just long they weren't oh, wide. Okay. they were super long um and i needed a haircut but for some reason my dad thought it was a good idea to take me to one of his friends oh that's what's up and he cut off all of my hair including my sideburns i damn i was damn near bald and it took keith i it took me years to grow them back like i just now got to the point where my sideburns like reach my goatee like Damn. i just got to that point and it's, and it's fighting to reach it too bro, yes and so my thing, trust me i know my shit fighting to connect bro so my thing is like can you imagine if he didn't do that how crazy my sideburns would he fucked me over man Damn, you could have had a full something that's what i'm saying bro Man, go to the next topic. Yeah, no, definitely. We all have those stories, so stick to what you know. What is it? Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and the streams that you used to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good song. Good yeah. Song. So, also within this week, just been put onto a lot of game as well. The dating scene. Mm-hmm. The dating scene is crazy. Mm. Mm, please, 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 uh, let let me know because I'm no longer in the, the, the day. Oh yeah, you 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 uh you, you cashed out early when when profits were high. You cashed out. Oh, <laughs> sir, sir, sir. After a while, I was like, this sucks. Because the, the stupidest stuff was happening, mm-hmm. bro. I had chicks who had weird animals. I, bro, I, uh, somebody that I thought I was vibing with hard, mm-hmm. just 
stopped talking to me altogether. Then I found out she had a boyfriend. I'm just like, the dating scene was trash. Or they secretly about to get married. You didn't know it. So you boom, bam. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you find out they get married. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, so what's what's going on in wild lifestyle, man? I don't know. I, I, it just you know for those who are single or for those who just got in a relationship, y'all know this shit sucks out here. Yeah, like you know, is 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 one. I don't know if women have a hard time finding a guy that can hold a conversation. I'm pretty sure there are instances out there because I've heard of some, but I just don't hear them as frequently. Okay. For men. It is hard as hell to find a woman that can hold a regular conversation. Is and I'm just I'm, I'm I'm just saying, like, I know there are them out there, but the ones that I've just been encountering just hasn't been the best conversation holders and stuff like that. And they're like they're dope people, don't get me wrong. They're there's Why? nothing bad. But they're just like that? conversation is just like I'm tired of being the, the captain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got I gotta I gotta talk about yo, I gotta turn this to not hit an iceberg. Why can't you just let me know? Hey, there's an iceberg 30, 30 feet across. I gotta wait till I'm up on the motherfucker and then make it a split decision right it's, there. It's it like, don't make sense, but you get what I'm saying. I, get I gotta navigate saying, the bro. shit. It's like <laughs> you turn into a seventy year old man. I gotta navigate the shit. <laughs> like goddamn. I'm just saying. You you instantly got you instantly got arthritis. Like, oh in man, your that shit just <laughs> traveled up. This this shit came from the core all the way up, and then you know what I'm saying. Did its own thing, and then just oh, boom. Oh my gosh, but um. <laughs> Yeah, dog. That's art. I I, I completely <laughs> <laughs> I I would have to agree. Um because even when I was on Tinder and shit, I was always the one to initiate everything. Everything. Like the conversation. I always had to say something because they yeah. would always give one word responses. <laughs> and then I would like I would ask like my my normal like friends that were girls would be like, Am I doing something? Like it's yeah, like, am, well, I, well, am well, I tripping? Am I not supposed to ask her how she her day was going? And then like, you know? and they'd be like you you're fine. I I don't know what's wrong with her. I'm like, all right, so because after a while you you start thinking, what am I doing? Right. Like, oh shit, she she hates mornings. Why would I say good morning? Stupid right. me. Like you know. That's what I'm but, saying. But but yeah, it's like hard for me to find someone that can have an interesting conversation. And then when I do find someone to have an interesting conversation, then they start lacking in other areas. Like uh the conversation piece like coming up with topics you may be cool with that mm. but as far as the speed of communication you know what i'm saying it's like a lot of people they act like you know and you gotta take it with a grain of salt as it is we've yeah. all come across these games before and we just you know have discernment now uh, at least i hope you do have discernment of your time you know what things you're going to allow and some things that you're just not going to allow right and there's nothing wrong for you not allowing it there's yeah. nothing wrong for you being a reason why somebody isn't re- allowing it that's, yeah, as long as you ain't got no negative energy towards them, hey, whatever. Like, boom, you doing this? I'm not rocking with it. I'm, I'm fading off. Right. So I, I hate when people, um, when they talk about previous relationships and then talk about like communication was an issue and then end up repeating the same issue that they say. It's like that one. It's like when you get a roommate that said, "Yeah, no, I'm a real clean roommate. Like back in the day, I used to really be the one that was cleaning up all the time. I was tired. And then hey, all of a sudden, they become the motherfucker that they explaining that story. And hey, like, man, keep be having Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> like." He'd be like Yo, he be looking back. He was like, "Oh, that one time that oh that we were in that three way deadlock in the war. Oh boy, that was something." Like then I had to go to class. <laughs> it's bad. Your flashbacks are like none, none other. Like you are really this is real life PTSD. Yo, I told you I was gonna be a little vulnerable, man. I was gonna be a little vulnerable. I was gonna talk about myself. Ugh. But uh, but yeah, it's like when you, oh, it's funny man. when you said that. I just thought of do- the meme of the dog and like the, the, the chihuahua. And he's like this and mm-hmm. it's fucking <laughs> the helicopters and shit like that. But uh, but yeah, and I just hate when they become the exact reason that they explain in their horror story. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They become yeah, the monster yeah. in their story. So it's like, wow, this sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna go and post, but you know what I'm saying? I go text and it's like. All right, that's just the game. We should post this. You just gotta, huh? We should post this. I mean, like it's whatever, but like you know, it's whatever. I, just, I'm talking about it. If they listen to it, they're gonna see this part. But if not, we don't have to make this the main focus. On it <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want no more. I don't want now the conversation to start with this. I don't want that. But like, if it happens, it happens. I just don't want to push it out there myself. But it's whatever. It's shit. Fuck yeah, it. I just thought it was funny. Fuck it. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So it's just like, damn. Okay. So it's like, um, back to the drawing board. Let me see what's going on out here. And like, this is not on a dating topic, but this is just strange. But 
Oh, I please think do I tell. think I think I wouldn't be put in this predicament if I wasn't single. Like you know, because me, if I'm in a relationship, I'm gonna voice that shit. And I'm gonna scream mm-hmm. that shit from the mountains. I'm gonna be like, "Yo, this is my woman." Right. I'm in her man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like you're gonna see that on my story and my my social media and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So since I don't have that, I get a lot of invites or I'm just added to close friends that I of people that I don't know. Of like, and some of them they're cool people. Right. Like after I like talk to them and stuff like that, they're cool people. And I don't know like just a regular conversation. I'm okay with being on close friends, but then some I don't really talk to, and then I put into it, and then I'm surprised at the content that they decide to show on their close friends. Mm-hmm. So I just got put into somebody's close friends, and I'm like, okay, this is a very attractive person. Like you know, this is cool. I'm never going to see them, but like this is cool. Whatever. All right, let's let's see what the what am I so lucky to see that the average eyes cannot see? Uh vagina. Like you know what I'm saying? Like full blown vagina. Not full blown. Had an emoji. Had the most of it. But you get the idea. You 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 see what's going on. And then I'm just like, this is cool and all. But why was I chosen for this? You smell like a demon. For real. <laughs> I'm just like, yo. <laughs> it's demon activity, bro. <laughs> it's, I, yeah, I'm, mm, mm. I'm just like, yo. I'm. I'm I, I don't. I don't mind I, it, but I just mm. want to know the question. I just. I, I mean, I'm not gonna ask because I don't care that much. But I just really like somewhat curious of why. Mm. And then the next post on the close friends is gonna be a one a question on why are people hitting on her because they think that was like a a green light to say something. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Hey, listen. Hold up. Okay. So first of all, here's my thing about these women, right? And it's I. I'm not speaking in totalities. I'm not saying all women at all. Because guys, I'm pretty sure guys do this. <laughs> right. Sh- like, I don't know. but Okay. Yeah. This is fucking common sense. If you do not want to be hit on, why are you showing full, full vagina? Why are you? You are literally asking, hey, come talk to me. It's open. Look, look what I got. And you expect for a guy not to say anything. Now, if they say anything disrespectful or anything that's like extremely like salacious or or vile or whatever, I'm not talking about that. But if they are just simply commenting on it, what the fuck do you expect? But like, damn, you were like, you like, know what I'm what you, what, like yeah, well, dude, how dare you? I'm like, how I'm dare? Like, I'm like, well, technically, she was. So, so I, it, I don't know. The, the thing, the thing about it, do not complain. <laughs> about which you are getting attention for when you are the one that's putting it out there like you put your vagina out there so that's and what we're you're... only talking about this right scenario this this this, this type of scenario this right scenario right because i can already see where some people's of course, eyes of can course, go and course. minds can go out of but, we're not even talking but about keep that, in mind and, and also depending on the content that you put out you are going to attract a certain person am, am, am i wrong so if you put out some, you know, some some nasty shit, you're gonna attract some nasty niggas. If you post a car, you're gonna post some, like you're gonna attract some like, some mechanics or some people that's really into that shit. Like, oh, I'm the Chevy two by four, you know? What I'm exactly. Saying? So that and that's one of the matter of fact. We could even use my YouTube channel for for instance, bro. I post different topics all like I talk about different topics all the time. Right. And when I talk about those different niche topics. Those individuals that are interested in that particular topic mm-hmm. comes in comments and and you know interacts with me on that video because because that's it, the target audience of that content. Well, would you look at that common that's sense? Just, that's just marketing. So I just I I don't understand. It's all for attention, bro. And she's not she's not even like distraught. I I know she's not distraught. Oh, no. Like she just it's just the fact that she just. Oh, no, there's more content attention. on the way. I, yeah, just, like, I was just like, definitely. oh shit. I'm like, how yeah. how dare you? And you have to physically. Put people on your close close friends on Instagram. Yeah, you're adding these. You're people. adding them, and if they're all guys, it's saying I want you personally to see this. Is is that wrong to think? Mm. All right then, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You lose. So I was just like, this is a weird way to start my Wednesday morning. Like you know, very I was weird. Like shit. Okay, I'll be like, hey, do you, do you, honey? Like, what's up? That's cool. But I don't know why I got added to it. I, I don't know. I, I she wanted you to see vagina, man. Uh. <laughs> this man said, uh. <laughs> and I just okay. So I I have a question, I, I, and, I, and I don't mind. But I'm just like you know. I mean, yeah, I'm, like, I'm just up more on the rebuttal no, 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 for no, no, people no, 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 like hitting her up, and then she's like, "This is not a green light." I'm no, just like, "It's not a green light," but you, but I'm a part of that green story. What you mean? Oh man. So I 
The symbolism in that statement is crazy. <laughs> I, green light, green close friends. It's like green to go. Exactly. Man. So I'm just, damn it. I had a very good question, and now now it, it, it's gone. It, it, it's gone. You, I, don't, you don't spoke too much truth. I, I did, because I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. But my question, and one question that I do have is, what, what do you expect, really? What do you expect? Let me know. I, I, because I, I don't know. If you, and the same thing goes for motherfuckers, male or female, that be posting their name out in money. What do you expect when a nigga robs you? <laughs> what do you expect when the IRS be like, hey, yo, you know we got social media too, right? You said you made this much. Uh, your name is about eight syllables. <laughs> so. <laughs> You spell using this much money to spell the coupon, like, you know what I'm saying? Huh? That's how long your name is. Yo, just imagine you if he did that, that shit. shit up. Yeah. That, that's low key a flex. I ain't even go. Oh up. yeah, yeah. Let's do that shit. That's that'd hard. That would be crazy. <laughs> like that. That shit gonna stretch all the way to Greece. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, ladies, don't do that shit. All right. If you do not want to attract the you know wrong type of attention, do not put the wrong content out there. That's all I'm going to say. And keep in mind, sometimes, actually a lot of times, a lot of, you know, comments by men aren't even warranted. Like, you could just post a nice selfie of yourself. A lot of times they're not yeah. warranted. So, you could just be posting, like, a decent selfie of yourself and, and you know, that's that's pretty much it. But in these times, don't ask for it and then be surprised that, that you got it. It's not charging right here. Use this one. My phone is good. Oh, yeah. I'm about to say, yeah, this thing look like a fucking Doberman pincher done chewed through this wire, man. Oh, I had that joint for years, bro. Oh, dang. yeah. Look at that. It's just that's that's just silly. That that whole thing kind of rubbed me the wrong way. One, yeah. I I've been having flashbacks too, because you just made me think about like a lot of the previous women that that I dealt with and like the attention that they love to to get and you know, and they thrive off of it. Yeah, nah. Cause remember I told you about the one scenario of the girl I knew that was like dating but her ex was like mad toxic because like he went back to like her boy like his his uh girlfriend that he got pregnant again well not that he had pregnant before and because you know that sounds like he just wants to man up and try to work things out and stuff like that but no nah, he's still trying to get with her and she's entertaining the fact because he's like very violent towards her verbally, like saying, "Oh, well, why are you always out with niggas and stuff mm. like that." And like, I be, and I was like, "Yo, why don't you just, you know, block him? It's so easy to it's hit that so button." Easy. Yo, once I found out the importance of a block, oh man, it's so easy. Oh you know, man, they, she won't though because she still wants to deal with him, so she won't. So it just goes to that. And I'm just like, damn, is it, things could be so much easier. Could be so much fucking easier, but people don't want them to be easier, Keith. Mm. And it's because they have that that attachment as well. They don't want to let go. So, <clears throat> I mean, what, whatever y'all do, it's hey, that's, that's up to you. I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a deep, I, I, I've it's been a deep first. Uh, yeah, like what? How many minutes we've been recording now? Uh, yeah. shit, like thirty two. Damn, it's a deep thirty two. Yeah, Damn, for real though. Damn, it's been thirty two minutes all thirty for thirty. That, that's crazy. I mean, what's what's next, man? Man, you you go ahead. I already opened up, like you oh, know what I'm let, saying. Let me see, cause I know, cause you know he. Oh, let's talk oh, about Darren. Darren. Yeah, let's oh, talk about so that. I did, so Keith actually brought this to uh, to my attention. Um, it, go ahead, and explain it, Keith, because you probably know more about it than. Oh uh, well, we have the article up. You can just read it, you lazy motherfucker. But uh, the synopsis of it is that you know we all been to school and we had that fucking tiger talking about that damn medium ass shirt with no pants i don't know why but it was like saying it was a dare it was, it was saying hey i don't what does dare stand for again what is it does it say it right there uh no all oh, right wait, uh drug abuse resistance education organization more commonly known as da- wait what wait what uh, the, uh oh no oh, it's the, saying the, oh it's gotcha, organization gotcha, gotcha. oh got you oh, yeah drug yeah. abuse <laughs> i'm about to say where's education. the owen dare <laughs> that's i was like wait a minute <laughs> it's silent <laughs> no it's silent like like yes. and lasagna. so like but uh um, dare is <laughs> drug abuse resistance education okay so you know we've been to school about that damn tiger and saying hey don't do drugs and shit like that none of us listen but uh um, mm, no. <laughs> there's uh, there's been so many different shows so many different movies this is talked about Drugs, random sex with people, et cetera, et cetera. And you really, I mean, like, if they had made a, a statement about it, it's very far and few in between, and it doesn't get any really uh, publicity. But Euphoria, as we all know, there's some explicit shit that goes on on there. And you and I had, a like, a 
pretty much a 15 minute conversation about this early before we started recording yeah but you know it's pretty out there as far as that but you really have to watch it to get like a more concrete understanding of what it is and whatnot because me i never watched the fucking show yeah and that was the, I, that was the point that i made to him before we even started i was like you didn't you don't have a good grasp on it because you haven't watched it because i watched the show and i don't necessarily agree with what's about to be said so yeah so like and I'm and I've and I pretenses that I'm only going off of what I'm being told certain scenes are about mm-hmm. and the glorification that I'm seeing from some toxic people on Twitter that I know is just toxic in general and then the moments that they're like uh representing or not representing but just recanting of the show is like some toxic moments. And I'm just like, Oh shit, I don't wanna watch this fucking show and just have that going on in my life. I already got my own shit I'm dealing with. Now I gotta talk about this uh fictitiously fictitious factual information that could be going like you know what i'm saying like oh man this is a lot so I mean, sure but but like but you know that's just not the type of shows that i've watched yes stuff. but 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 again we also watched fucking shows like friday i mean we watch movies <laughs> friday we watch, hold up we watch movies like like friday where people are getting you know they, they getting shot at you know miss parker we were young looking at miss parker like that bro uh you know uh new jack city art or, i never seen new like jack paid city. paid in full i know you've seen paid, paid in full. nigga the wire the wire hbo the wire you haven't you tell me you haven't seen as an adult i've seen it that's what I'm. That's what I'm telling that's you. That's an adult. I, bro, it doesn't matter. Like I could be, I could make the same argument that you know it. It didn't. There was no like really sex scenes in the wire. I don't remember. I'm, I ain't even gonna hold you. I just watched it like five years ago. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but regardless, like I can make the same argument about every movie, every show yeah. that that is out here that you know it glorifies sex, drugs, guns with whatever even the funniest movies promote some sort of ne- negative you know i can't argue that it promotes some sort of negative yeah, there's something in there yeah so i just i i do not agree with this um let's but let's, they, let's 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 let's, let's let's read okay so dare recently told tmz that euphoria glamorizes substance use and abuse especially in season two which recently starred on hbo especially season two really I feel like season one was worse. Season one was most definitely worse in my opinion, so far as as like substance abuse. But I mean, like I said, a lot of shows do. I I just and honestly, I I watch Euphoria. They do not make the shit look fun. They don't. That's what I'm hearing from a lot of people like Charlamagne God uh, when he addressed this. Uh, he was saying they don't make it like. But like I said, I've never seen it. So Bro, I'm going it, off of you. I'm going off of you. Yeah. So the show does not look fun at all. It it looks terrifying. Honestly, I mean everybody's making stupid mistakes. And yes, there is sex. But Keith, let me tell you something. Euphoria wasn't out when I was a teenager. I was fucking. You was a teenager. When I had sex. You was a teenager. Bro, yes. Oh yeah, like eighteen, this teen. Mm-hmm. Bro, I had sex when I was fourteen, thirteen. Yes. Oh man. Yes. That's crazy. So, and and was Euphoria out? No. Huh. Oh. Yes, but it, but do you? That's know- not crazy in the bad ways. I was like, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, some people start early. I, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> but the only reason why. You know, I didn't uh, obviously I didn't get anybody pregnant or whatever. It's because my thankfully, yeah, thank thankfully because my mom she educated me, like she just told me, hey, you don't want to, you know, obviously do this because you either get STD or you know you get get her pregnant or or whatever, and you obviously too young, blah 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 blah. So, bro, I just I I didn't I was always careful. She gave me condoms, yeah. So I was when the time came, I was prepared, yeah, and. I did it. The show Euphoria wasn't out. Teens are going to do... My point is, teens are going to do whatever it is that teens are going to do. The show Euphoria is not going to further promote or make it, you know, look more glamorous because teens are already doing this shit, okay? This is not... They have, have been doing... Teen pregnancies are at, a, are at an all-time high. Now? They have been, yes. Yeah. Especially since, since, like, we were kids. Oh yeah. yeah, since we were like yes. younger, the but num- I just thought the, like the now number- because of COVID, motherfuckers didn't really want to be around me. You know, because <laughs> remember when COVID first happened Bro. to me, I told you about the one girl that want to hang up with That's me, and true. I was like, "Hey, you can sit your ass over there. You ain't coming over here." That's true. But my point is, it it happens all the time, and it's been happening more frequently since we were kids. So, mm. what are you gonna? There is nothing there. You can do everything 
under the moon, sun, and stars that you can do. But you are never going to prevent teens from doing drugs and having sex. Now, what I will say, you, can, you could try. But now, yeah. what I what I will say, I'm gonna say that like, hey, yo, teenagers no. gonna do drugs. Now, I was, about to, I was about to say now, what I will say, I never did drugs. Yeah. When I was when I was a teen, I, I never did drugs, never, and I I never did cocaine or or any of that the crazy shit. I never ever ever have have done drugs. So I mean, let's. It, come on, man. I just I don't know. I just do not think that it's not fair. See, I, see what I'm starting to get now. Like even though I have not watched the show, and I'm honestly not going to watch it because it's just I don't. I just choose not to. There's some things I just don't want to watch. I just don't want to watch it. But from what it sounds like, from what you're saying about it, and this is what I believe the creators of Euphoria were basically trying to get to the bottom of. They're just trying to provide exposure of the day in the life that teenagers face due to certain circumstances that can that leads them down certain paths. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. It could be. Like, if you want to be, like, on the um, – uh, an artistical mind of why was this show even conceived or the ideal process? I believe, you know, I'm optimistic. I believe it has a meaning behind it. Is I think that's a word. Artistical. Yeah, look it up. It is. Art- I thought it was just artistic. Artistic. Look, no, no, seriously, look it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry to cut you off. That was really bothering me. I was like, is that a word? <laughs> because now you got me questioning myself. Because I know I, I, I said it before in class. So. Artistical. Mm. There's artistic, art artistically. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. Let's cut that part off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut that part off the podcast. Hold up, I'm trying to see. Oh wait, it might be. We're going with it. We're going with it. Fuck it, I said it. Fuck it, it. you said it. All Fuck right. it, you said it. This. 25% proof that it is <laughs> that is the actual word. But anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I understand. You want to go into the mindset of the director of, like, what uh, what was his, like, uh, his muse and creating this. So I, I believe, like, not his muse, but his mindset, his ideal thinking. Yeah. And I think this is the reason for that. And I feel like the director wanted to go the worst route possible to, like, to may to maybe like um, over exaggerate things to the highest degree. Yeah, probably not to scare, but just letting them know that these stories do exist. Yeah, we just very few in between that you hear the public the publicity on these issues. That does not mean that they do not they do not occur. Right. So that's what I'm getting from you. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. you know. So yeah, I I think this it, it's a little unfair. They're pointing. I think they are, are unrealistic, unrealistically uh, pointing a finger at Is HBO. <laughs> unrealistically pointing a finger at HBO and Euphoria. Um, Motherfucker, spell a D champ over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, you know I was I fucking majored in in journalism. So when it comes to like words and, and spelling, like in grammar especially. So you know I work with a lot of law students and lawyers, right? I'm mm-hmm. gonna tell you this real quick. Lawyers, their grammar fucking sucks. Okay. Every time I read anything that they write, I hate it. It like it makes me cringe. It makes me want to fight. Like if if a comma is misplaced, they don't put a period, or if they use a run word, or I'm like, what the? Like f- oh man, it makes me uh, the old man in me. Yeah, makes me get come out, bro. Like the old man in me. That's some dangerous shit you got going on. Yeah, I know my blood pressure is probably high as shit. You gotta work on that, man. Yeah. <laughs> But do you have any lasting thoughts on this? I say, like, you know, no, I don't. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like guys, it's going to be, like, regurgitating everything we just said, honestly. Yeah, so, but, I mean, shout out I mean, shout out to Dare. I mean, y'all trying to do good work. And, shout and out I, to Dare. And shout I out to you for you. Shout out to Zendaya and yeah. her full name that nobody wants to say. Shout out to her. What is I? Yo, you know what's crazy? It's Gibson. It's, I know it's that, Gibson. Like, really? It's something Gibson. Really? Her last name is Gibson. I showed you this. Huh? That's crazy. I, she just Zendaya. She always gonna be Zendaya. I mean, like, hey man. Even if she getting married, she's fucking Zendaya. <laughs> she, she, yeah. <laughs> she her her big headed ass. Anyway, um, you don't think Zendaya got a big head? She got a big head with that skinny body. I can't really see. No. 
cute. I mean, it is random that you said that. That's why I was just making a face. Like, oh, what don't I say that's random? That's bro? and I still make the faces. So. It's great. You've been around me for how long? Now? And I will continue to make these faces. Huh? That's you should be used to this, bro. When you get married and when she says I do, I'm gonna make a face. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, man, okay. She really want to do this. <laughs> Hey, all right, man. I'm gonna take a shot. <laughs> I'm gonna be right. I'll be the only person standing taking a shot, man. Oh boy. Anyway, so going on to the next next topic. Um, this is you because this is gonna be in your realm, man. Why is it in my realm? You more of a sneakerhead than I am. So I'm pretty sure you probably had a little bit of shoes with a little bit of drop in it. Probably. Probably them elevens. I'm gonna check my shoes again. You see, I you mean, you, your sock it. probably absorbed it now. Sucked it right on up. So, for those of y'all who don't know, um, a Foot Locker employee was is, was accused of ejaculating in, in, into shoes. Um, I don't even think it's an accused anymore because there's a video. Yeah, no, no, I mean, no, he he did it. So this was in Canada, and this is funny though, right? Because one of my um one of my subscribers, our Dark, shout out to Dark Tron, he told me about this like a week and a half ago. And because I think he works in in the same mall, and I was like, he did what? Ejaculating into shoes. So, what was the what's what's the? Can you imagine opening a pair of shoes that you really wanted? And Man, there's the Jordan Five Raging Bulls. All right, I've been I got lucky on this sneakers out. All right, look at this wrapper. Ooh, the hardwood uh box display. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't like the paper. Oh man. <laughs> That's new, that new shoe smell. You smell, Wait, you smell it again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something smell like oh. Ajax. With oh. <laughs> Ajax. Is that common? <laughs> Is that common? Like what the? Something smell like bleach. I'm just, what's, what's, what in the hell? What? Why? Why is the soul? Oh, like yo, I can't. I can't imagine. I can't imagine, bro. You know, and it's like it's gonna be a hard. Like if this story was never broken, it's gonna be hard to get your money back. Cause then that Nike's gonna be like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Really? Yeah. And there have been plenty of instances of of Nike being like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Either Nike or like this is a foot, foot locker. So, you know, anybody. I shit. If I sold you something and that like if I had people that was making shit and you say, "Hey, somebody came in the show," I'm like, "Yo, what the hell's wrong with you? Like, what do you mean somebody did that?" Like, so, yo. So it's, I'm it's, think you're lying. It's funny though. So um. Not Foot Locker, but Keith, I actually ordered shoes from um, from Nike before, right? And mm-hmm. this was actually a present for, it was, this was like a, three years ago. It was a present for Verena, right? She wanted some Air Maxes. I got her I got her some Air Maxes, right? Mm-hmm. And Probably the classic old white. I forgot which ones they were. But I got the shoes, and they were worn before. Like, the soles were dirty. Mm. Um, they had marks on them. And it's supposed to be a dead stop. Exactly. Mm. So, that, I can understand that. But having nut in my shoes, I I might have to kill somebody. I'm sorry. You know what? I wish it did happen to me. That would have been a great lawsuit. Damn. That would have been a crazy, that would have been a crazy check, bro. That would have been a dope come up. I would have never failed on sneakers ever again. Damn, why can't these misfortunes happen? That's what that I'm saying. That aren't harmful. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. I would look if they say, "Wait, we we can't, we can't, you know, pay you, you know, thirty million. All right, how about you let me hit on sneakers all the time, and I, don't, I never have to pay for a pair well, of that shoes." That would have been like, "All right, twenty nine million. Twenty nine. <laughs> say you one million dollars." Man, but yeah, this. Um, did you watch the video? I I didn't. I just seen like probably two seconds I, of it, he, and I did the same thing because I saw like, him with his shirt off, and I yeah, was like, and I was hey. just like, "Yo, this." M- no, <laughs> like freak boy, <laughs> this is the freak boy man in the back, and yo, that's yo, crazy. It's it's so funny because when I when I heard about that, I was in Canada. Yeah, I was in on, on Ontario, uh, Canada. When I heard about that, right, and this was the same day. I forgot why you sent me the Thanos meme when he was like, "Oh, he horny, horny." Like, <laughs> I instantly put the two together, and I was fucking dead. Yeah, that man was. Head. So my my thing is, what is the reason, Keith? Like, are you that horny, or you not getting any? Because I mean, he didn't. Look, he looked like a normal dude, so I'm sure he could have got it. From nah, somewhere. this man neck was abnormally really stretched. So let's not talk about that. But uh, no, nah, I don't. I think it might just been a fetish for shoes. I love shoes, bro, too. bro, bro. So I have a best friend. She used to talk to this guy and stop talking to him in college because he had a fetish of wearing pampers. 
this is fetishes. There's some strange fetishes. One more time? Hey, this recorded. You can play it back. <laughs> but he wore pampers. Like, literally, that was his thing. Pampers. Like, diapers. Diapers, yes. But isn't that called pampers? No. That, no, I'm just trying to understand. Oh, yeah. I'm very... Dependents, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Yeah, all types of shit. Why? What did it do? For, did she ask? I would have been so fast. I mean, like, I mean, like, she probably did ask, but and I can't remember what was the reasoning, but I just know she left <laughs> and never came back. Can you imagine a grown naked man walking around and in pampers with the swishing sound? You know, swish, swish. Hey, uh, cloudy with a chance of meatballs and the homeboy turning into baby bird or whatever. Yeah, that's what, that what you got strolling in your house at eight a.m. about to make you some eggs and bacon. Like, yo, what's up? Wow, get um, some English muffins <laughs> and some peach jelly for you. Yeah, not this jelly. Ugh, this jelly. Ugh. But I'm just, I'm just saying this could be just a fetish, man. And but for that's sneakers. that's and that's not. Hey, this is not me upping him at all, trying to protect him. This is nasty. I'm just trying to okay, cause like like you said, I I love shoes, bro. Right. I can never look at them and be like, I want to stick my pants in here. That's just not you. All right, so my thing is like you don't see a problem. No, no, you don't no, no, see no, no. a problem. You'll be like, yeah, I no, can do this. I, I hear you. It's I, just not you. It's not me. I hear you. But yeah. like in my mind, I'm like, how does it feel good? Because the, the oh, you holes, think he, you think he's he having sex with the shoe? I don't know. Is he? I thought he was just just, just yeah, off and, and then boom. But why? And how is he get? Hold on. What you mean? Just open the shoe? Oh no! Hold hold on. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. When I look at this. Why the soles stay so tight? Yeah. And harden. I. How <laughs> gross. Like a fucking sock. I just caught on to that. Oh, man. Here, you touch it. I don't <laughs> want to do that now. Hey, this is going to be on your foot, man. It's whatever. It's already one with you. I'm just. I don't understand what would make. What would make you want to? You good? Yeah, man. I just hit the fuck out my wrist. Like, I don't... Hold on. Let me... Let me make sure it don't smell like bleach. I'm scared. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Nah, this is bleach. Yeah, let me take it back to the crib and I'll make sure I do. Get a better look at these, man. Thank you, man. I, I, I'll give them back, man. Nah, you you, you, you good. You good. Yeah, hey, I see that. I, 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 hold, see I that? hold on to them. You see that? This is him flexing his wealth. Look at that. I'm not flexing no goddamn these? wealth, yeah, bro. These? No, you yeah, don't. You know what? Because he do. It's crazy. Anyway, I can't. I can't imagine um, this story. Um, I wonder how Larry feels about this, man. Because you know he's way worse than all of us. Sorry, I'm just like looking at the shoe. Yeah, I know, they're made pretty well, though, right? Yeah, well, that's why he saw. It. He was like, damn. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna bust. <laughs> I, I Look at that patent leather. Even just joking, I haven't seen a pair of shoes where I'm like, these make me want a nut. I haven't seen an inanimate object that makes me want a nut at all. Not even a sex doll. And I've seen a sex doll in person and scared the fuck out of me. Bro, working at Amazon, you see a whole bunch of shit like that. So I've heard. I remember when I used to work at Amazon and uh, I was putting, like, I was a stower. So for those who were at Amazon, those are the people that, uh, put the stuff up and mm. um i remember i was on like one of the higher floors and you know people order everything from amazon so there was like somebody everything. ordered a fake ass and, and stuff like that i guess to have sex with did it. you feel it no oh. i went there it was already open <laughs> that was the thing and we had gloves we wore gloves you know because we we're going through a whole bunch of stuff and you could see the handprints on the dirty ass gloves on the ass and stuff like that. And I was just like, were they trying to see if this was like if it felt real? And if it did, how could you tell you're wearing gloves? So unless they hands is just that dirty. You think they took a quick lunch break and was like, hey, I'm gonna be right back. Where the fake ass go? I, I, I Oh no, they was having sex with each other. They didn't need to do that. Oh really? Oh man. Yeah, yeah. At, at my fulfillment centers, like people were doing that. In the Amazon? That's why they got fired. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Where I think warehouse jobs in general, a whole bunch of shit be happening. Eight Mile. He was in a warehouse. Remember that shit? No, nah, I haven't seen that movie in so long. What happened in the warehouse? Remember he smashed the, the, the white girl in the warehouse? He took her in the back when he was on his lunch break? And he was like, come here. Well, I wouldn't say that's in particular. Well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, 
Yeah. It's way more dangerous in there. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, now imagine, that, uh, imagine you get piping down, all of a sudden, damn forklift about to fall on your ass, a pallet about to fall. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go, <laughs> bro! That ain't the way to go, man. That, ain't, that is one way. I, that is one way I do not want to go is having sex. I do. That is just <laughs> really. I mean, okay, wait. So it, it. I guess it would just. That's just funny. <laughs> I guess it would just depend on like how you go. Like, what is the reason for you going during sex? Is like, did your heart rate get too high or something? Did you I have mean, a like to me in general, I just don't want to go like that because then that's funny. I mean, I never want to laugh at that at the, the dead, but you know, Elvis did die on the toilet. Is that funny too? Did Luther too? Did Luther die on the toilet? I don't think so. Mm. I, no, but Elvis was constipated though. I yeah, think. yeah, eating eating them fucking Elvis sandwiches. <laughs> them shits, that's nasty. But nah, anything was like with that. Yeah, I just don't want to go like that because that'll just be funny. You just arrive if you've been living a, a a decent life. You just arrive in heaven, and then you and he just be like, hey, I got to talk to you. <laughs> I know what you was doing. Yo, and, and I ain't gonna lie, we, we if you want clarity, we have this recorded so you can like get an idea on what possibly could have been avoided. You know what I'm saying? That is all. As a sense of humor and stuff like that. Or just imagine, you know, your friends and then you're just like, Yeah, how did so and so pass away? Heart complications. Oh man, I didn't know he had a heart attack or anything. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say he had a history of that neither. I was like, Oh really then? What happened? How did it happen? Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know what? Though I can't. And hasn't there been like uh, instances where like Viagra does that? Like yeah. So what it what that does is just causes from like because it was on that movie that Chris Rock was in when he was like I think I love my wife. Remember oh, that? Yeah. He took the it took that and then he had an erect, erection for like more than eight. <laughs> Imagine me <laughs> for five hours just straight. <laughs> it was like, oh, you know something's wrong. Damn. I don't know how that can kill you. I, I, I mean, I'm sh- I'm sure I know it can, but I just don't. I can't regurgitate how it can kill you. But anyway, he, the only way to get they rid gotta of stick that your penis right in the hole in the hole in the hole oh and drain the blood out man oh That's, yeah you lying nah fam in the hole i thought it was just like a shot or something you just lay here let me do that on the shaft nah inside Ooh. that's why he was like freaking out so much like in the yeah yeah in the hole in the hole man so what we? How do you even get in this stuff, bro? I don't know because I think the the whole shoe shit became a uh, fetish, and then we started talking about sex. I, I I don't know. We started talking about fetishes, and we got we started talking about diapers and pampers for some reason. Let's get back to the shoes. Crazy, because <laughs> we really just went the whole like we just. I don't even know where we were at. I I don't know either. All I know is this shit is crazy. I I don't know what else to say. So did I mean? I, did he get fired? I would assume so. <laughs> Scroll up. Let's let's read from the beginning. Um, it's it's well. It says accused. Accused. Bug scroll down. Let's see here. Cause I hold on. Feel like a what? Where give statement? Gave a statement. No, it's that's. Oh my bad. Foot Locker gave a statement. Foot Locker. Okay, so it says Foot Locker is committed to operating with the highest ethical standards and this type of behavior is not tolerated. We are aware of the incident and are taking appropriate steps to address the situation. Okay, so fire him. I what what else are you gonna do? Um can you go back? Like, does it take you to like the search page that I originally created? No. Uh, we okay. can go back. Yeah. Oh no. It's uh. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna if they fired him yet. I would hope so. I would hope so. I would. First of all, I even, <laughs> this I, man cannot be allowed in the streets, bro. I even like his tone. I don't even remember how the video. Went. I I heard him. I heard him talking. I was just like, I ugh, ugh. It, it just creepy, man. Yeah, all on your your breads. <laughs> Space jams, ha! <laughs> oh no! How do you get the name? Yeah, man. Ah! Oh my God! I can't. Yo, just just imagine him doing it on, on like the, the Oreos or something. I don't even like, want to. Yeah, I don't this, even want to imagine that, man. Yeah, this Oreos with cream. Now. I don't even want to imagine that, man, because that's just all types of sick action right here. That's like for real. Like, Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. honestly, this is like 
One minute you thought you could avoid Ooh. sneakers by like the uh, insane lifestyle of sneakers, as far as like going to actual drops, like going to the mall. You thought you could avoid that by just ordering online. Mm-hmm. Now and then, you know, of course, you have the issues of probably not getting what you wanted, but you know, it's, it's minor. But this one is like you're not safe, you know. No, no matter what, like you may avoid one thing, more one problem just to go into another problem. So now you got to be in the back of your mind, have this in the back of your mind, saying. Oh, I don't know if this gift to my father could be like you know. We should invest in bots. We should invest in in, in bots. Find bots, get an influx pair of, of of kicks, and just search through all of them just to make sure there's no nut, and then sell the rest. We should do it. I'm serious. That sounds like a waste of time. No, it's good money, great money. Mm. Yeah. I looked into it. Very hard to get into. Mm. You have to know people. How barrier entry? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's gonna. I'll tell you off camera, but I know somebody that has bots, and it it makes no sense whatsoever. But I'll. I have to tell you off camera because it's not you know legal. <laughs> but anyway, I'm I'm done with this, man. This is just disgusting. Um, you have any lasting thoughts on anything that we talked about today? Man, I guess, you know, <laughs> I guess one thing you can just, I can like close this out of with is just, you know, I do want to say congratulations to my best friend, one of my best friends. He just recently got engaged. Oh, cool. Yeah, so. Oh, that's what's up. So let's talk about some love. He's still out there. Um, make sure you enjoy the moments of the people that you really love. Love those who love you. And for those who don't, just forgive them. Okay. And never forget. The aliens are coming. They coming, run. We all gonna die soon. I'm not trying to. Clo- I'm not gonna close out anymore. I'm not gonna close out anymore because I be having some some solid shit. Then you just end it on some silly shit. <laughs> hey man, I gotta ruin it somehow. No, don't it ask was, me anymore. It, I throw this motherfucking remote at you. Man. It was way too positive. I'm sorry. It was it was positive, but that was a, that was a very nice sentiment, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, man, it's cool. Yeah, but don't worry. I, I'm probably gonna mess it up next time too. But we appreciate you guys for listening to the Simple Logic Podcast. We out. Peace.